Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is Roots. Today we're going to be covering how to make your altar so that you can make some of these armors, like the ones behind me here, and what they can do for you. First and foremost, if you have been watching any of my previous Roots videos, you'll know how to make the current altar setup. Now we're going to be expanding on this. If you use your runic tablet, and you actually click on the, uh, not monster reanimation, the, uh, where is it, enhanced standing stones here, it will explain that you need to make these in order to make the next set of stuff, like monster reanimation, sylvan armor, or wildwood armor, which we're going to be covering the armors today. And if you click on one of these, it shows that there are, there's a little setup here. We'll need four of these new ones that are in the corners here. Well, not really the corners, but on the flat sides. So. Let's get that. It's not too bad to make these. I already have them in my inventory. And we can just grab some diamonds. Four diamonds, 16 stone, and 16 nether brick. So let's just kind of spread those out. And that should do for making the four attuned standing stones that we're going to need. Then you just place them around your altar setup so that they are on the flat sides, centered. A couple spaces away from the others. Now, of course, I'm in creative, so I didn't use up the ones that I had. So for now, I'm just going to drop those in a chest. <laughs> now, allow me to uh, switch my mode here. I know, the music cuts out when I do that. It's kind of sad. But uh, what we're going to be doing next is uh, not really crafting as much as making this setup. So uh, if you refer to your runic tablet, you might notice under Sylvan Armor, it does explain a little bit about it, but you see all the ingredients here. Of course, a diamond, vines, and the corresponding leather piece of armor that you're going to want to upgrade. Now, that's a little bit expensive, but you also notice that there's two birch barks, golden apple, and a poppy. And you're probably thinking, wow, this stuff had better be pretty good. Well, don't get me wrong. It is pretty good. But uh, you don't have to use a poppy, a golden apple, and two birch bark for every single piece of armor. In fact, you might even be able to make two sets of armor for just those ones. Reason being is that these are going to be on your... Um, oops, <laughs> I just accidentally put those on. They're going to be uh, burning in your braziers here. So allow me to... Whoops, don't, don't eat it. Let's just, just put it in here. <laughs> and then you'll want to light those up. And while those are burning, you then can add the items to your altar. So it's not that expensive after all. Then shift right click. And it starts the ceremony for creating the first piece of armor. While it's happening, I recommend you get the next piece ready and you get it all set up because these will burn for about a minute. And this ceremony does take, as you notice there, a little bit of time. There we go, and I can pick up the first piece of armor, and I'll be putting that on, grabbing the next piece, and continuing. And I'll come back once I'm done. And there we go, I have my last piece of armor. Put that on, and I do look pretty darn cool. Now, this is actually a functional piece of robes, and I'm, I'm just going to put these out for now. No need to have them running any, any longer. But uh, if you notice my armor, it's actually pretty darn good. It's a uh, half an armor unit less than iron armor. So uh, allow me to grab a set of iron and I can uh, show you guys the difference here. Oops, looks like I already have a set, but that's all right. I'm going to be uh, in using those anyway. So let's put this on. You can see you only get a half unit armor more from iron. Now, given <laughs> this stuff is, is a bit more expensive in a different way. I mean, it did cost you four diamonds to uh, make this set, plus a whole lot of leather, which that, that's a lot of cows. But, <laughs> you know, if you've got this set up, it's got different bonuses. Now, if you hover over it, it'll, of course, say when full set equipped, plus one potency. Then, of course, it tells you the different armor bonuses that you'll be getting. But it also says when equipped, increased terror regeneration. Now, what those two items there, potency and terror regeneration, are in reference to is casting. Now, if you're going to be using any of the staves in this mod, this is the armor for you. Uh, it also will repair itself over time, which is wonderful. Therefore, you don't have to worry about uh, constantly uh, replenishing the, uh, you know, the material. You can enchant this very heavily and not worry about it disappearing on you because, well, it's going to replenish itself. Now, if I cast this uh, without the armor on, let's take the armor off. I'm going to cast this spell here insanity and you can see it uses up three and a half of my uh, terra and takes a while to replenish i'm gonna cast it again 
There you go. Actually, it used up four Terra. My bad. Uh, but now let's equip this armor here, and you'll notice a different effect. It only used up half as much, and it regenerated half or in half the time. So it's it's really really useful if you're going to be casting spells very often. Not to mention the fact that it has almost iron armor. It's regenerative. And it just looks really, really cool. I mean, I mean, come on. Wouldn't you rather wear this than uh, some of that uh, regular iron armor? Look at the back is even detailed as well. It's pretty neat stuff. Of course, it's got like some flowers on your chest plate. But hey, you're, you're, you're using like druidic magic here. So it, it's pretty cool. Now, let's take these off. And let's say that, well, you know what? Just shy of iron armor is not good enough for you. I want something better than that. Well, that is what we're going to do next. Next is going to be... Allow me to grab this here, the Wildwood Armor, which is going to be using the same altar setup, but it's going to use some different ingredients up here. It's going to use a diamond for each piece of armor. You're going to need a full iron armor set and an oak wood plank for each armor piece as well. And then burning in the background, you're going to have these ingredients, which of course are very mundane and are nothing really to worry about. So let me put all these on my hotbar, whoops, on my hotbar, as I said, and I'll plonk down a couple of oak barks, wheat, and an oak sapling. Then I'm going to light each of these on fire and rotate, as I did with the other armor, through to get this going. One, two, and three. Then I just shift right click. It starts the ceremony and I'll be getting my wildwood boots in just a moment. Now, there is a big difference in this. This isn't, this is more for combat related stuff. So it's going to be very useful for that, but not like uh, it was whoops, with uh, the Sylvan armor, where you gain benefits from using the magic staves. Uh, in this case, you're going to get regeneration bonuses on your health bar. So as you are... Um, you know, fighting in combat, when you eat some food and stuff, and you get your uh, your <laughs> your uh, health regen going back up, it's going to increase that faster. Plus, you're going to get a higher armor rating out of it. Now, remember, you're only using four diamonds on here, so it's it's not going to be the equivalent of diamond armor as far as protection goes. But it is going to be just shy of it. It's going to be the second best armor equipped that you can get. It's going to be better than gold, better than chain, better than iron, but not as good as diamond as far as protection is. Plus, it just looks really cool. It makes you look like some kind of tree ant or something. Uh, now, the backside is very open, but that doesn't mean you're going to be taking any more damage from the back than the front. Uh, but you do look really darn cool like this. So I, I got to say, it's, it's neat looking stuff. Now, you'll notice when I hover over it, it says when equipped, increased health regeneration. So if I take some damage, uh, let's jump down here. There we go. My health regen will, of course, regenerate fairly quickly. Now, with this armor on, it will, uh, well, assuming that my uh, hunger meter is back up, it will regenerate even better than normal. Uh, I did test this out a bit, and it is going to be moderately better, but not a lot. And you can see there, my health regeneration goes up very quickly when I eat some food with it. Of course, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't help as much when my um, my food saturation was already low. But I mean, it does increase your armor quite considerably. It makes you look really cool. It automatically repairs itself as another bonus. So you're gaining your toughness plus your armor. On these ones here, you're just gaining armor. So keep in mind that you do gain that toughness bonus on here. So, you are going to become a much more durable foe in battle. Um, and you won't have to uh, worry about losing the items as much because they self-repair over time. So like before, you can heavily enchant these, and it's a really good investment. Therefore, potentially better than diamond armor. Now, I keep on mentioning that you can uh, invest in these pieces of armor. Of course, that's where the whole enchantment comes in. Now, if you enchant these here, let's take some boots, put them in here with the lapis, of course, and then you get your possibility of, you know, blast protection or whatever it is you want to put on there. Obviously, blast protection is not the best choice for a lot of stuff, but uh, maybe you'll find something that you really like. Let's, let's plonk this in here. I don't have any bookcases nearby to help enhance this. I'm just showing you that you can enchant the armors. Now, of course, the wild wood is enchantable as well, just as much as the sylvan armor. And it doesn't really have anything fancy about that. It just enchants in a similar fashion to the rest of the armors. Uh, it's 
you know, you'll still get the glowy effects and so on, etc. <laughs> Not to say that uh, you look any less awesome with uh, super glowy effects. But hey, that's about it for now, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. We have a Discord chat you can hang out in or just use to check out the weekly schedule of the channel if you're interested. Uh, you can also support us if, and our content because we have a Patreon account at patreon.com slash mischiefofmice if you do have an interest in that. And don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you like our content, and spread the mischief to others. And until next time, folks, I'll see ya.